January 10 in Albany at the Washington Avenue Armory, scheduled to be on hand, the Wolfman, the protege of Mr. Fred Blassie. Also scheduled 1974 Rookie of the Year Award winner, Larry Zabisco. As Larry will be locking horns with a 300-pounder by the name of Butcher Vachon. But the two matches you don't want to miss will involve Dean Ho and Tony Garea, as they individually take on the Valiant Brothers. Dean Ho is scheduled to take on John Valiant, and Tony Garea is scheduled to take on Brother Jimmy Valiant. This is really going to be something to see to determine whether or not the Valiant Brothers are as strong individually as they are collectively as a tag team combination. But right now, let's bring on the former Pacific Coast heavyweight champion, Mr. Fred Blassie. Wow! 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 <laughs> That's Blassie's new protege, the Wolfman. Wow! Wow! Whenever he annihilates these puzzle neck geeks, that's what he does. He howls like a wolf. This is a man I found up in the wilds of the Yukon, clubbing a wolf to death with his bare hands. And he wears that skin that he dismantled and tore off that wolf. He wears it into the ring, and I guarantee you, this is without a doubt is the meanest, the most vicious wrestler in the business today. And he is also the most fearsome looking creature I've ever seen in my life. This is a man that I'm not responsible for one he gets into that ring. I'm not responsible for anything that happens because when these pencil necks sign their signature to that contract and wrestle the wolf man, that's right then and there where they sign their life away. Fred Blassie, I'm sure all the Albany area wrestling fans are looking forward to the debut of the Wolfman. All right, now let's bring on Dean Ho and Tony Garea. And fellas, you have the Valiant Brothers once again, only this time it's a little bit different. Uh, you're wrestling them individually. Lou Albano, I don't know if he's going to be around ringside or not, but perhaps that would not be in a factor in the match in any event. Do you think, Tony, that you can take Jimmy Valiant on? Well, I, I don't want to make any, any statements here on TV that I, I feel that I, I can't back up. He is... Um, He's, he's a big man. He's 270 pounds. I, I have wrestled him many times before. I feel I, I know his uh, capabilities, and uh, it would just be a matter of capitalizing on his mistakes, Vince, and, and, and that's fully what I intend to do. And maybe, well, I don't want to say I will beat him, but uh, there's a possibility. I'm sure there is, and I'm sure the fans are going to be behind you, as they are behind Dean. As Dean, you take on John Valiant. Yes, I'm looking forward very much to this match. And uh, as Tony has just said, there always is a possibility. Sure, there's always a possibility of us, uh, of Tony beating him and of uh, myself. And uh, now, when, uh, whenever they're separated, whenever they're not in a team, they're very, I know for one thing, that uh, they're not as strong. And this will give us a good break. And uh, I think, I'm, I think that, uh, again, once again, the power of positive thinking by Vincent Peel is get out there in the ring and win. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vince. Dean Ho and Tony Guerrilla, ladies and gentlemen, and they will indeed be facing the Valiant Brothers in Albany in individual matches. And speaking of the Valiant Brothers, let's bring them on now along with Captain Louis Albano. Oh, Vince McMahon, they weren't able to cope with my champions as a tag team, and now they're trying them in single matches. Well, there's only one reason for this. When the men stand out here and talk, you, you notice, you can definitely detect a fear in their voices. They are worried about my champions. They realize that they cannot beat the world champions, but money is the problem. As you know, there's a rumor around that this uh, Tony Guerrilla filed, he filed for financial bankruptcy a week or two ago, and a man is, needs money desperately through bad investments and gambling the man has no character has no you know he's a very bad citizen a bad person and he spends all his money wastefully therefore the man is in desperate trouble has to accept matches like this realizing he's gonna take a tremendous beating but there's no alternative in fact I even noticed a man with a rubber band around his shoe he's not even able to buy good wrestling shoes therefore he's in financial trouble brother but he's gonna try he's running scared but there's no way out what can he do he'll have to face the world champions once again and be thoroughly beaten you seem to be supremely confident that the Valiant Brothers Check are... Check this band out about my wrist there, champ. Solid. Zoom in here, boy. You think this is from J.C. Penny downstairs, the budget floor? Solid. That's solid gold, solid. McMahon. Solid. See that strap, boy? That's solid gold, too. Solid. And you know how you wind up wearing that stuff, boy? You don't get that from being a lifeguard in a car wash no. or wiping off the hot wax. Right. Let me tell you, you get this belt, boy, by being the toughest. Because this belt exemplifies supremacy. You know what supremacy means? In case you're too illiterate, supremacy means you're better than average. Better than average means you're better than the so-so run of the mill. Run of the mill means you're better than so-so every day. Pop the goody. And let me tell you something right now. World Tag Team Champs, boy. Captain Lou Albano, the Valiant Brothers. From the Windy City, Chicago.